Good morning and praise the Lord. We thank God for another wonderful day that he has made. We rejoice for his faithfulness and his goodness. We bless the name of the Lord God Almighty for all what he has done for us. There are some times I do tell you that the life of a Christian is a warfare. That is why the Bible says that we are more than conquerors, which means that we are in war. But the God who is our warrior, the master and the controller, our commander of everything, has already won the victory for us. And so he speaks to us. But as children of God, one important thing that I want to remind you is that as long as we live on the land of the living, we will surely go through challenges where we call it war. And so let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 6. And uh, let's read verse 16. I, I intentionally picked verse 16 because of what the king at that time said to Daniel. So the king gave the command and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke saying to Daniel, your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Praise the Lord. Every day there are conspiracy against Christians. Every day there are conspiracy against those who trust in the Lord. This story talks about Daniel, a man who feared God, a man who has decided to do his work with all righteousness and with all diligence. Child of God, listen to me. The fact that you are doing the good thing doesn't mean you are not going to encounter enemies. That is sometimes how we Christians feel. What have I done? I am doing my things in the righteous way. I, am, I don't go to steal. I don't go to think evil about anybody. How come that people are thinking evil about me? Yes, such is life. It happened to all great men and great women of God. And so it will surely happen to you. But the good news is that in the midst of all this conspiracy, our God will still come out and uh, you will see the victory for your life. Yes, are people conspiring against you in where you are working? Are people conspiring against you even in your education because maybe you are brilliant? Are people conspiring against you because you are becoming successful in your business? Are people conspiring against you in your home? Even sometimes you have done nothing wrong, but they conspire against you. It does happen to Daniel. The people sat down and conspired against him. The end result was that they wanted the life of Daniel to cut short. They put him in lion's den. Child of God, lions represent the enemies that come against us all the time. Sometimes we are thrown spiritually into lion's den. Sometimes we are thrown uh, emotionally into lion's den. But hear ye what the, the king at that time said. Daniel, the God that you continually worship will deliver you. This morning I am here to sound the good news to you that the God that you continually worship, Jesus that you surrender your life to, will deliver you from everything that the enemy has planned. Their conspiracy will come to naught. Their the trap that they have set, their uh, evil, evil wishes will not uh, stand against you because God will deliver you. Or in the country, Daniel said, We Daniel, 
Benjo, or Benjo a friend with us, or Benjo a fro, how mu, or Benjo a fro, who whom you who never jat a bobby or dear to moon, a sunset, or you yamit nor cannamaho, a radiant cow home, nor enjoy Jesus demon to me. Amen.